Hola ladies, we are doing some heatless wand curls today. What I'll be using are my Flexi Rods, my Hydra Thermo Naturals Aloe Curl Enhancing Cream, my Mop Top Curling Custard, and my Argan One and Only Oil. I'm gonna take my hair out of this ponytail to get ready and prepped for the style. As you can see, my hair has like a little bit of a natural wave to it because it's been in a ponytail and a bun. I decided to put my part on the side and now that I have my part in place, I'm going to section off some chunky sections of my hair and just clip them out of the way. Each of my curl um, that I'll be creating will be done in chunky sections. So as you can see, I am using my fingers to part the sections out of the way. The parts don't have to be perfect by any means. This is really more so of a maintenance thing and to allow me to get through the style much quicker. I'm using butterfly clips and I am all set. I believe I have about seven sections. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my Argan one and only Argan oil, I should say. Then I'm gonna follow that up with a little dab of the um, Hydro Therma Naturals Aloe Curl Enhancing Cream. I love, love, love this cream. It, it makes your hair so soft and manageable and it makes it shiny and it smells great. I'm following that up with a little bit of the uh, dab of the Mop Top Curly Hair Custard. And I'm just smoothing that through my hair, running through with a rat tail comb and making sure that it's evenly distributed. And now I'm twisting my hair as if I'm getting ready to do a Bantu knot. Then I'm going to leave about an inch and a half to two inches of the ends loose. And the reason I do this is because it will make it easier to, for the curl to come down when it's not twisted all the way to the end. Then I'm using a winding motion or a spiral motion around the flexi rod and just flipping it around my hair to create that perfect curl and then fold it over at both ends to hold it in place. Once all of my flexi rods are in place, then I'm just going to curl them over and just kind of bunch them up and then tie my hair up overnight. So here we are the next day and I'm taking my satin scarf off and I'll begin to unravel the flexi rod. Now this step is very important to hold on to that curl and make it easy. As you saw, I'm just unwinding the opposite direction that in which I wound the hair around the curl. This allows me to keep the integrity of the curl that is in my hair and as you can see, doing it this way gave me some nice loose um, curls but then gave me some good definition and as you can see my hair is super shiny and bouncy so now I'm going to take each of the sections and I'll begin to unwind the hair from where I kind of twisted it up and then I'll separate at the ends to make sure it's good and then I'll begin to separate the length of the hair now I don't want to separate too much because I definitely want to keep um, that curl pattern that will form as I separate the sections of my hair. This gives me more of that wand curl look. Now this side, ugh, I was so frustrated. It frizzed up because I accidentally got it wet in the shower so it didn't last. So no worries, we will blend it and make it work. Now I'm just taking my fingers and kind of raking through the curls to help separate them a little more and give me a little more of a body wave. To add volume, I'm using my Afro pick just to lift the root and I'm flipping my hair over and then picking that way. That way the back and middle sections of my hair will fluff up a little more. And then I'm just using the pick to fluff at the root. Well, as you can see, that little side over there that got wet, it said no, ain't happening. So I am now going in with my Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control paste and I'm laying my edges down and I am going to actually rake it forward to give me a little bit of a bang. As you can see I didn't go all the way down because I don't want to disturb what little bit of curl is there. Then I'm just going to twist it back and use some bobby pins to pin it in place. Excuse the lighting, I don't know, I think the sun came out or whatever, I was just having some lighting issues this day so excuse the imbalance of the lighting. And this was the final look. As you can see this 
side was great, gave me some great heatless wand curls. This other side, not so much, but anywho, I loved it. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.